we are going to see the test of nitrates. Um, this is the same test that a lot of forensic scientists will use to determine if there's gunpowder in a crime scene. Okay? The two chemicals we're going to use today is copper nitrate. You can see that Lewis liquid. We also have lead nitrate. Lead nitrate looks clear, just like water. These both have nitrates in it. What we're going to do first, we'll do the copper nitrate. I'm just going to take this Q-tip, touch the copper nitrate so the Q-tip has a little bit of solution in it. You can see it's blue right now. Right. Now we're going to place it under sulfuric acid. This is a really strong 18 molar sulfuric acid, and you'll notice a color change. I'm going to leave it in this porcelain dish on the left. This is our sulfuric acid. Just a few drops. You notice instead of blue, it makes a dark black color. Right? So that means that that particular chemical has nitrates. Let's do it again with lead nitrate. You've got to remember lead nitrate is a pretty clear liquid. Q-tip. Looks like it's just wet. Right? Come over here, we'll do the sulfuric test. I'm doing this under the fume hood so you could, because we don't want the acid to hit us. You notice the one on the right, also a black color change. That means that the lead nitrate also tests positive for gunpowder nitrates. The third one we're going to do is just water. This is distilled water. I got water, we boiled it, we collected the water droplets when it condenses. Again, it looks clear, just like the lead nitrate. Okay. So I'll dip it in. See if it's clear. And now we'll try it on the sulfuric acid. I'm going to place it on top. It's kind of covered there. And you can see that it doesn't make a color change. It's not a dark black anymore. So obviously water does not have gunpowder residue. This is the same test that forensic scientists will use to determine gunpowder. If there are any questions, leave a comment down below.